So I want to talk to you all about, well, now that we've decided, okay, maybe we're not going to spend anymore. Maybe it's not worth spending anymore. What can we do to ensure that we can survive as long as possible? So, you know, it really comes down to what is your kingdom like? Because it's all kingdom based. So, my kingdom, we have a 24 hour kill event. That's fantastic for keeping people in the game. But at the same time, it's also terrible for keeping people in the game. Because the game becomes so boring. Because everyone just 24 hour shields it. So, you know, it goes back and forth. So, you can either shield and not fight at all, or you can, you know, try to fight, but it's really just who spent the most money. And I can tell you right now, if your name is not hashtag stop spending or KVK Pyro in Kingdom 194, you're not winning the battle. You know, these two guys, they're on top. They have every single thing that they need, every key to success. And even that, these guys aren't even the strongest people. Like, they, they, they do not compare to some of these people in this game. They would not stand a chance against any C40 that they see in battle. So, you know, it really goes back and forth as to what do you do, what's the best option. So, when it comes to not spending, you know, your best option is the shield. If you're not, uh, if you're going to be online, you know, you can always just pop two hour shields and set timers and come back and, you know, stay on and stay alert and, you know, keep an eye out for this. But really, you know, what it comes down to is just keeping your shield up, keeping your city ready to go. You know, offload all of your farms before the, a fight. So, I mean, I, you know, before a kill event, I'd go around all my farms. Granted, I don't have any farms, but let's say these three are my farms. I'd sit right here with this Raging Bullets. I'll attack all my farms, take all their resources off. Because it's too expensive to shield my farms, but my main castle... Maybe that's something I can keep up with. Maybe that's something I can afford. So, but what it comes down to is basically keeping your castle alive. And let's say you can't always afford a shield. Let's say you're done spending altogether. What is a good strategy to stay alive? Maybe you have some fighting that you need to do. Well, I'll tell you what you should do. After you get zeroed, so, I mean, it's just inevitable. If you're not a big, you're not spending, you're not going to be able to maintain a troop count. So, what I would recommend you do is have one march. Now, I've done a, a bunch of troop formation videos, and I can do more if you guys want me to. So, have one march. You go around, and you can always keep your march out. Now, there's been other tactics that I've seen that are actually very effective in keeping multiple marches out. Now, the thing is, if you need, let's say, three marches of troops, granted, you can only attack with one at a time, but at least, you know, if you have multiple marches, you can maintain backups in case that you lose some troops in battle. However, it's a lot easier to maintain and manage just one march of troops. It's easier to build back. You know, it's not going to take you so long. It'll keep you in the fight for longer. So, let's say I want to go and attack want someone in my alliance. Granted, you know, I obviously can't do that. I'm just doing this as an example. So let's say this guy, the Godfather, he's the leader of this alliance. Let's say we want to go and attack him. So, what I would do is, obviously, you know, I would port in. As soon as I port in, find three unassociated accounts, and I would launch war rallies. So, it's imperative that you're in a good alliance, or an alliance by yourself, or an alliance of just your farts. An alliance where no one's going to, you know, tell anyone who you're rallying. You also want to make sure that they're not in any red area because if they're in a red area 
your rally gets cancelled and your troops are immediately back and you get sped marched. So, keep your targets outside of any alliance. So if you see here, oh, no, that's still not it. So it's pretty difficult to find places, but yeah, there's a ton of alliances back here. Wow. So keep your march. So let's say there were three castles right here. There's no red lines around. They're not in any specific alliance um, per se. You launch war rallies. You keep your troops out of your castle so if you get attacked, your troops that are in rallies don't get attacked and they're literally just sitting you for resources at that point. You cannot have wonders if you're doing this. Um, but granted, if you aren't spending, you're probably not going to have wonders. I still have them, but I am giving them away to other players in my uh, kingdom when uh, Ultimate Alliance campaign comes. So, after you launch your rallies, you know, you have one march free to do whatever you want. You always watch that march. You always keep an eye out on your rallies also to make sure that they're not coming home. And you just take care of yourself and you can, you know, have free reign over anything. If you're outside of an alliance, <clears throat> you know, you can't really be kicked out. You can't be tracked unless the king comes in and uses some of it, their abilities to uh, fight you. So that's great for, you know, keeping yourself in the fight. Now, granted, you're not going to be able to go in and attack huge castle levels because you're a you know, you're not a spender anymore. But, now let's say you want to go ahead and you want to defend. Well, you have to know your enemy very well. It's always imperative, I mean, I've said this many times before. It's very imperative to know your enemy, know their abilities, know their power, know their stats. Keep an eye out on every single person that you want to fight. And yeah, I mean, just know what battles you can fight. Know what battles you're not going to win. If you're not going to win it, just shield it. If you're on a countdown, you advance, teleport away. I mean, that's really the only way. <laughs> Sorry, I just need a drink of water. But, I mean... That goes for fighting when you're not a spender. But let's go ahead and talk about some other things now. 